This is a video showing how to set the 0.2% offset line to determine the yield strength of a material. I've opened workbook number five for the materials testing machine. My first step is to use my selection tool to determine the slope of the graph. I'll select the tool. Please make sure that you have the actual sample stress selected. Drag that down to the very first portion of the stress strain graph and then shrink it down to the starting point of it. Once you've done that, the slope of this graph will determine the Young's modulus for this portion. Once you have that selected, go ahead and open the calculator on the left-hand side. There's a calculation listed within this calculator to generate the offset line. In this case, we need to specify the Young's modulus. So we can see that from this curve fit here, our slope is 188,000 MPA. So we'll make sure that that is entered here. This value is then reflected on this orange offset yield line that is drawn on the same curve here. I have set the vertical axis here to display the similar measurements. Once the offset yield strength is given by MPA, they will have the same unit so they can be displayed on the same axis so that when you change the scale of the axis, they scale together. So once we've assigned that and we've displayed the offset yield stress line, we can then go ahead and zoom in on the intersection point between the sample stress and the offset yield stress. We can do that by placing the cursor over the intersection point and scrolling in to zoom in on this point. You can then use the smart tool up above that has not already been selected and then move this along the uh, sample graph until you find the intersection point between the generated offset yield strength line and the data from the sample. And in this case, we can see that the yield stress on this will be about 680 megapascals.